Welcome everyone to 1111 Tarot. If you are new, I hope that you'll join us. Stick around. We're a lot of fun. And if you are returning, welcome home, my beautiful 1111 family. I'm excited to get started. Now, at the end of your reading, your tarot reading, I also provide um, a runestone reading for you. And I've added something new. We're going to introduce my pendulum read, which will allow you to ask three questions that you seek the answers to. Now, the answer needs to be a yes or no answer for me to be able to do it with the pendulum. And then also, I will end this video with some Reiki healing and frequency clearing, as well as daily affirmations. So we have a lot to get started with. And so I am excited for you to join me. Let's go ahead and get started with prayer. If this is something you would not want to do at this time, there is a timestamp down below that you can just jump right in to your read. And here we go. Three, two, one. Archangels, Ascended Masters, Ancestors, all for our highest good. I ask you to guide me as I deliver the message for everyone that tunes in. Archangel Michael, protect me from all spiritual and physical weapons in any other realm, that none shall manifest or prosper against me, spiritual or physical. Archangel Raphael, continue to heal my body, mind, and spirit. Please heal all those that have tuned in to receive your message. Archangel Gabriel, thank you for this message that I receive it clearly, that your divine guidance allows me to share the message intended for all those that receive this message for only their highest good. Thank you for the abundant prosperity, the abundant blessings and healing, the protection and the guidance. And thank you all for joining me. With that, my lovelies, I will meet you over to whatever part that you jump into. Okay, let's get started. We're going to use the Elio All Oracle Cards. Find out your energy, which is she who calms Gina, stillness, purity, and quiet. Jenna, she who calms, walks beneath a wintry sky. Her wise companion, the owl, follows her. There is peace here in the stillness of the trees. Her dress made from the feathers of the white peacock with a delicate overlay of Queen Anne's lace echoes the quiet purity of snow. This goddess is a ghost to some. To others, she is a trusted confidant. But Jenna sees and knows all who reveal in her wintry world. A whisper of a cold breeze against the cheek is her kiss of thanks. Jenna appears in order to honor the pause. Come to me, child, she quietly calls. Come to me when your days are too full. Come to me when noise overpowers. Her gift is calm companionship. An intimate walk on a snow-quieted day will be your reward when you answer her call. She and her whisper-winged guide want to show you the benefit of carving out a few peaceful moments for yourself. This lovely spirit of Winterland beckons you to join her for one still minute. Focus on your breath. Appreciate all that we have in this one simple moment. Pause to give thanks for this calm respite. Can I afford five minutes to merely sit and breathe quietly? How will I benefit by taking a few minutes right now? How can I make this daily practice? My beautiful air signs, let's see what's going on this week for you. This is a weekly read, and it will give me an understanding. You already have a card on the board, and we'll take it. Five of Swords, and the deck was in reverse. So there's going to be some adjustment. <clears throat> I feel like it is in reverse, which is feeling defeated is done. Like you're pulling back your energy from something, but you're not allowing defeat to overwhelm you. It's actually a controlled response rather than a reaction. Um, yeah. 
let's go ahead and understand your overall energy. Knight of Wands. You're feeling <sighs> drama. I feel drama. Like you're pulling back your energy. Because somebody is going to be very upset that you're pulling back your energy. But you see it as drama. Like they're in a lack mentality mindset. And they just can't seem to get it going. You tried to help. Where? You have air mail. Seriously. Okay. Location device found. Beep, 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 beep. Here we go. Work. You're focusing on what you need to focus on. I feel like you consider them as a distraction from what you need to do. And they take away a lot of time. And it's just gone in thin air. And you're like, what did it accomplish? Truth being spoken, Knight of Swords. There's also a legality matter that affects your finances. That is an action that we'll find out what that is. So for some of you that are facing a legal matter, there is some resolve. Um, I don't know if I want to call it resolve. Something comes into your view. An update, if you will. In illumination, clarity, and wisdom. Air signs. Four pentacle. It's that lack mentality. It's saying, I've got to hold on to what I have because I don't have much. And that's what's being illuminated. And this person, their energy is residual to you. Somehow, my stomach's growling. Sorry, I decided to try to do these on an empty stomach to be more clear. So you might hear my stomach growling. In clarity, you're like, yeah, I'm going to try just for a while to do things on my own a completely different way. Like, I want to see how independent I can function. Let me understand here in wisdom for my air signs. The lovers, a choice. And lovers doesn't mean somebody that you're having... Um, a sexual or romantic relationship with, but rather an intimate relationship. Could be besties, could be sisters, could be parents, family, friends, work, love, life. And in that, my lovely, let's move the beautiful creature's book, uh, the case. With this, my love, you're making a choice to no longer be in, I keep feeling like somebody is touching me. On the shoulder, on the on the left shoulder, okay? Um, you feel like this person keeps you in a mind of, they don't have growth. They're not seeing that they need to take charge of their life. And rather than you voice this opinion, which could cause this, well, you're holding back. I, I don't know why. I don't know why you're holding back from telling this person, but the lack mindset is they bring burdens. They do. They just don't take responsibility for their own burdens. Could be a Pisces moon card. Um, they just fly by the seat of their pants. They don't take responsibility for it. And it's, it's along the lines of you taking that moonlit trail on your own to win. You need to go to the unknown. So it's separating for the time being from this energy while they're in this lack mindset and realizing that they have to take responsibility. Queen of Swords. Huh. Isn't that interesting? King and Queen of Swords. So with the King, we have Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer. With the Queen, we have Aquarius, Virgo, Libra. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody standing between you and your goals. They're trying, but you took a step away from them. So what is this lovers, this choice to, this choice? Like you're choosing your higher self. Queen of Wands. Pisces again. So you're looking at, you could be choosing Aries. Pisces to Aries is the decision. And it could just be water, fire energy. You're looking at two. Water and fire energy. And you're, you're looking at it to see if it's serving you. 
Wow. Wowsy, wowsy, wowsy. All right, my lovelies. Let's go ahead and move into our earth signs. Thank you so very much for the air signs. Let's see what's going on with your energy, earth. And this is also the overall challenge. Earths basically highlight the challenges in our world, right? Um, because they're of the material plane. So our material challenge that crosses our material plane here. And this is for earth signs. It's getting all crazy in there. I was just told, knock that out. <laughs> Earth signs don't want to talk, or we got the wrong deck. Earth signs, you're not getting that kind of card. Really? All right. All right. All right. I see how you are, Earth signs. You want to get this deck out. We can do it. I do what you want. Look at you. There it is, right off the top. Oh, you got three. You have multiple energies, Earth signs. Kamala, she who emerges, enlightenment, mindful, rising up. So you're coming on up to the top. Oh, yeah, you're rising. I feel the phoenix from the ashes is what I'm feeling here with Earth. She who waits, Manara, patience, waiting, determination. You're kind of like you made a move. You made a change. Maybe not a move. Maybe you did make a move. You made a change. Could be location, place, thing, whatever, person. And you're waiting to see what happens because you really do feel like you see something very clearly that you didn't before. Geneva, she who radiates knowing ambition, confidence. You know, you have an energy vampire that has been sucking you dry and you've been enduring it and allowing it. And it's been blocking you from your full potential and you know it and you've separated somehow let's get this geneva let's see what she says geneva she who radiates glows with the confidence of a true leader and her choices of or in ornamentation reflect her ambition if it doesn't make her feel powerful it is not for her she has chosen the headdress of the chieftain with bold markings of gold, her face tattoos point to her strong features, her third eye chakra that knows all, her eyes that see everything in her mouth that speaks the profound truth, the flower she wears reflects her valor. This is a woman who understands the true nature of power. Her ambition is not to be denied. Geneva will be seen for the warrior princess she is. This card is asking you to look at the persona you present to the world. Is it the real you, the woman or man who wants to conquer your world? Let your appearance announce to the world that you are a force to be reckoned with. This force is beauty, power, ambition that radiates from you like the queen's golden rings. Make sure you are doing everything you can to honor your true essence. How do I display my confidence to the world? What does my personal style tell others about me? What is my ambition for today? Wow, Earth Signs. It's saying, own your energy, right? Take charge of your energy. I love that. Let's dig a little deeper. Let's look in love, trust, and growth here. Just making sure the deck's in the upright. Thank you. King of Wands. Wow, fire. Hot. Hot to touch entrepreneur somebody that knows what they want they're in their drive you've regained your power you can now see how strong you are when you really stay focused without this distractive energy consistently wasting time like you're focused and i mean oh are you so focused in trust you're trusting yourself you're trusting that you have a divine plan that this plan is in action, you're stable, and you're feeling solid and solid and solid. More solid, the more you co-mingle with the right energies. 
like you have a plan of action. Three of Pentacles, make it a blueprint. You've got that strong, independent, King of Wands, go get them attitude. Let me see this Earth, King of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, which means the beginning of something very long term, very solid. So it's a little slow moving, but it's growing. And why? You have a hidden cards. You got a story. Three of Wands. Here's a story about a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely boys. Oh my golly, here's this page energy. You're making plans, new plans. And you're defending it by staying very quiet about what you're doing until the time is right. And that's that wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Build your product. Build your world. Build, build, build. And once you've tested it and tried it and you know it's true, that's when you release it. Because that's when you know you can stand behind what you're working on. And you can face anything because you know. It's divinely aligned. And that's what this emotional trial and error of the earth sign is about. Remember, she who calms, keep it calm. Very, very interesting. All right, my lovelies. Thank you so much, earth signs. I greatly appreciate that. And now we're going to move in to our fire signs. Fire, what's going on with you? What are you gonna what are you gonna share? Are you gonna take the beautiful creatures tarot or do you want Elia? Ooh. You, oh my golly, look at you. The sun. The sun will come out tomorrow. And you may have it today. It's clarity. It's absolutely something going your way, fire signs. You're like, yes! I've been wanting this forever. It's my rhythm. It's it's my niche. I found it. I'm excited. This is beautiful. Show me what this, what is this that makes my fire sign so incredibly happy? Look at you. Even threw them in the right spot. Wow. Celebration with this aha idea. Whoa. Fire signs. What is it that you know? Because you got the sun, you got celebration, you've got the celebration, energy, clarity. It's like, oh yeah, I needed to know that. That is something good to know. I do. I feel like something is touching my left shoulder. All right. Let me understand more about this fire science here. Introspection. What are you thinking about? What are you feeling? What is this inspiration about? Knight of Cups, you're very deep about it and you're keeping it quiet. You're like, oh, yes, 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 yes. It's so cool. And you're like wanting to share so bad, but you're like, not yet. I want to make sure. I want to double check. I want to test every bit about it to make sure that it's perfect before I share. Oh, look at you. King of Pentacles and here, but you're committed to long term success in this endeavor, whatever this is that's got you all excited, wanting to celebrate, bringing in this beautiful energy and talk about energy. You got the Ace of Wands and the Sun. The Sun is the energy that is divinely guided energy saying, yes, commit to this. Stick with it. Stick with it. That's that Knight of Pentacle energy is like, do I or don't I? I'm starting something new. King of energy is, oh yeah, that is the person that's got it going on. Oh yeah, here a thought, commitment. There may be an offer on the table. What is this? I'm stuck. I felt stuck for a minute. Star, fire, sign. You have an Aquarius energy bringing in healing. There are cups getting mixed of information with that clarity that brings in the clarity that you needed for a long, long time. Something comes to a resolve. I love it. I do. I really do. This is by far amazing. Let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper. Let's go water signs. Let's see what you got. You're going to use some beautiful creatures, Tarot? Yep. Oh, 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 what you got here? Three of Pentacle. I always see this as, as like 
strategy, but it's like good strategy. It's working with the divine. It's planning. It's making... It's something that you can, you can, it's mastership. Yes, it's much about work. The Empress. Wow. The Magician, Inner Skills, all about your yourself being so creative. And Confusion, Two of Swords, Night and Day. Okay. So you flipped a switch on in your world. You're like, oh, I see it now when the lights are on. Time to clean this area. I'm going to manifest my gifts. And to do that, I need to, to really focus with the divine. This is all about spiritual growth. And two of swords is do I or don't I focus this all into one place? Like, which way do I focus? There is some definite confusion on the board. We're going to go ahead and get one of our ladies here and understand this energy for my water signs because there's something quite hit or miss, I'd say. You've got She Who Whispers, Confesia, Secrets, Confessions, Confidant. So somebody... You're keeping something quiet. Are all of you keeping a secret? Like you are. She who nurtures Colette. Empathy, gentleness, insight. You're learning something in your quiet time. Because you've got that calming energy. Chains, bonds, release. She who surrenders is Stefani. You're releasing someone. Very quietly. She who knows. Elena, wisdom, clarity, resolution. You know. You already know what I'm talking about. She who frees. Carly, liberation, unrestrained, and freedom. You're going for it. You're going for it. You're releasing it. You're finally doing it. It's like I'm sitting back in my chair if you're here squeaking. Um, it is very much my water signs about that eclipse that you went through or an eclipse energy if you're finding this much later it is definitely an energy this week of releasing something for my water signs as it's all of you are releasing something but each of you is in a different stage so i feel like you've already done the work here of releasing it um cancer Pisces, Scorpio, you're done. You're like, now let's see where this leaves us. Here, when we're looking at Earth signs, it's just been released. And it's almost as if you're seeing how that sits with everybody. And Earth signs, I think, is just coming into view if in the near future that you're going to be making a big, big decision or somebody does it for you. There is a moment to where the universe just guides your cart and says, we're going this way. And uh, for fire signs, I do see this entrepreneur. You've done all of this. You moved into the sun. You're like, I am free. <laughs> you like declare it. So that is exquisite. I truly appreciate all of you sharing your energy. I'd love to get some blessings. All right, my beautifuls. Here we go. Blessings for the week. All right, ocean, ebb and flow. And again, this is the week here, ebb and flow and sun. You got the ocean. Huh. Fire signs, you're going to be seeking out water. It's going to be an actual physical water, either more in your body, more around you, or big water somehow in physical travel. There's emotions to transcend and to celebrate. And look at you. Rainbow blessings. Look at you. Rainbow blessings. Wow, fire signs, you're doing great. Let's look over here at this not fighting anymore. Oh. Look at that. We'll take these from here. Yeah, you're taking your power and your strength back. That's why you have the five of swords in reverse. Somebody might see that as um, defeat. They might feel defeated because you pulled your energy away. But it's because you're trying to self-nurture. And um, you've got Gaia. And you've got sanctuary earth signs there. Well, everybody, blessings are for everybody everybody 
All right, let's look at this. Let's get up in the water signs. Let's see what's going on. And blessings for everybody. Whoops, kind of picked up half the deck there. Ceremony, you're going to be celebrating. Make sure and give thanks. That's what the celebration needs to be. It is a release of the old, um, which is going to be a big, 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 big deal this summer of releasing things that hold you back as we move into spiritual growth here. So, Jenna, she who calms, let's get a blessing card and let's get some calming energy. Yeah, stay focused on the bigger perspective this week. Absolutely. All right, my lovelies. Next, if you would like to join me, we're about to go into the Ruinstone read. I appreciate your time and energy. If this is where you leave me, please give the puppy a little love. Thank you and God bless you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. We're going to go ahead and cast some rune stones. But before that, I'm going to roll these four dice. I have a 20-sided. I have a 6-sided, which determines how many rune stones to grab and cast. And then I have two die that basically are zodiac and planetary. So let's go ahead, shake them up, and see what you get. So right away, the first thing is Jupiter, which is expansive energy. It enhances something. It's going to come true in your material world. So something is very much expanding in the material 3D world. Um, you do have a nine. It is falling over in Gemini, which is Mercury. Maybe that matters something to you with a nine. And then we're going to cast our rune stones, which we get six, as well as you have Leo on the die. Let me see if I can show it to you. Where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> Almost lost my direction there. So you have Leo, um, you have Jupiter, a nine and six. Let's go ahead and cast your ruin stones. One, two, three, four, five, and we won't take that one. One just hit the floor. So I went ahead and I turned your rune stones upright and I've selected our cards. So this is Othula's. Othula. Othula is all about your inheritance, long-term inheritance. And it talks about like lineage, your bloodline, as well as like your clan, guarding your homestead, your home fest, nesting, and the blessings that come in from taking care of what's yours. Um, next, we move. You have this in reverse. And this is Oraz. So Oraz is more like, talks about prosperity, but this is actually in the reverse, and it talks about being stubborn, um, lacking your assertion, and being bullheaded and forcing something. So some stubborn energy is here um, at the beginning of the week. Like somebody's really forcing something. I don't know what it is. Then you get into Issa. Now, Issa is about standing still. It's icing something out, allowing something to freeze, taking a pause. You've got that right in the middle of the week. With that, with Issa... You've also got Kness. So this is Kness, and it is about enlightenment, gaining insight, intuition. It talks about um, knowledge. So you go within because there's something stubborn. We'll put this down here so you can see. There's something, um, where is it, Kness. Um, There's something very stubborn that makes you go within to really reevaluate. It's like something's completing a, a, a cycle with the way you feel about something on a nine. It's very persistent. could be something that keeps returning to your thought. You've got Jupiter here with expansion. You're expanding on a spiritual gift and a spiritual enlightenment as well. You have this on the board, which is now this. This is like a sacrifice, and it's really returning to your basic needs, making sure that just the basis are covered. It's going within to be grateful for what you have. Um, now this is almost like you could see it as the crucifix. It's doing something for the betterment of stability. So it's you're really protecting your home front is what I'm getting. And as we move into the last part of the week, 
you've got this, which is Fehu. It is prosperity. It is wealth. It is the return of something coming in that you can give blessings for and raise your hands up. It's Leo energy with the sacrifice here. It's like for the pride of the family. Very, very interesting. All right, my lovelies. And that is your Runestone reading. If you would like to head over and we'll answer three questions, yes or no only, and hopefully give you the insight that you need. We'll do a pendulum reading and followed up by a frequency clearing as well as Reiki healing. I will meet you over there. Thank you for joining me for this pendulum reading. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Get your questions ready. You can even pause the video. If you are just watching this live, then I would simply start thinking of the question or text it or type it. Let's go ahead and show me a complete stop. Show me the answer, yes, a hard yes. Can you increase that? And show me stop. Can you show me a hard no? Can you increase that? Can you show me a stop? Thank you. To the first question that the viewer has to ask, whatever the question is, can you please show me a yes or no answer for them? The first answer is a yes, a hard yes, a very strong yes. Show me stop. Second question, ask for the viewer, the listener, those that have tuned in. Show me a hard stop. Ask your question, yes or no. Show me the answer, yes or no. I'm getting a very firm yes. Yes. An excited yes. Or an energetic yes. Show me hard stop. Third question, show me a yes or no answer to this question that the viewer has. The third answer is a no. Can you show me more? Come to a stop. And thank you. Thank you so very much for joining me on that. I will meet you over if you are interested in the energy clearing and today's affirmation. Thank you so much for joining me for this last part. And today's affirmation, our daily affirmation is, I forgive those that hurt me and detach from all negative energy. I forgive those that hurt me and detach from all negative energy. I forgive those that hurt me and detach from all negative energy. And there we are, my lovelies. Let's go ahead and allow the singing bowl to sing us out. Thank you so very much for staying all the way through the video. Your support matters. And I hope that I brought in some clarity into your life. With that, three, two, one. Allow your body to relax, your mind to clear. <laughs> 